Good day. This is one of my first vlogs and from time to time I'm going to be posting videos about thoughts and just general stuff that I've come across that I thought, hmm. So, with no further ado, I'm going to put a question out there to you viewers. Obama is for same-sex marriage. It's been ratified across, I think, all the states, the United States. Um, it's now over here in England. David Cameron is all for it. Now, in society, they want to guilt trip you and say, Oh, adults should be allowed to do whatever they want to do in the comfort of their own home, right? As long as they're in a consensual age, right? No one's got nothing to say, right? But I ask you this. And I sincerely ask you this. Because this is something that's just come to mind in the last week or so. You people who agree with same-sex marriage and homosexual activities, I ask you this. Can incestual relations also have to also get married? Should they also also be able to have sex? You know, a mother and a son. They're both over the age of 18. Should they be allowed to happen? If not, why not? Now I put this to somebody else. And they said, oh, the main reason why they shouldn't be allowed to do it is because the increased likelihood of deformities. But I ask you, where's the proof for this? I mean, have this been monitored? That ancestral relations produced deformed kids? And if so, when did this happen? What study? And how did they test this theory? But, okay. You know. I'm an easy guy to get along with. Yeah? I'll give you that one. I'll just say, just say for argument's sake. Just for your argument's sake. They are not allowed to have kids. Just say we say it's forbidden for them to have kids. If then... They are unable, both are unable to have kids. Should they be allowed to have a relationship? Should they be allowed to get married? And if not, why not? Break that down for me, explain that to me. You know, because I want to hear your justification. I've yet to hear a logical justification. I've yet to hear someone say, Oh, the reason why they shouldn't be allowed to do it is because, um, well, no reason why. Now, according to my faith, yeah, I'm coming out of the scriptures, yeah, both these instances is, is against the law and against the Most High, right? Obviously, there's a moral implication, even if you weren't coming out of the Bible, but how does your moral implication allow homosexuality but does not allow incest? Break that down for me. How does your moral implication allow homosexuals to legally adopt but incestual relations not have children? Break that down for me, please. Rate. Comment. Subscribe. There will be more of this real soon. Thank you and good night.